Hi, Dad. We only have a couple of days in Orlando before heading south to family. We have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. One is obsessed with the Transformers, so we are planning to do one day at Universal and wanted to do the other day at Disney for our two-year-old. I'm starting to realize this may be a little crazy, and I'm already going nuts trying to figure out what hotel to stay in. Help. Signed, Sincerely, Crazy Mama. All right, Crazy Mama, let's uh, see if I can get Billy Wonder to, or Billy Wonder, I'm looking at two different, two different things, Stevie Wonder to help us out here. Come on. Oh, it still didn't work. Never mind. Keep trying. That. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to Disney World, even for one night. What could be wrong with that? And uh, there's really no reason to get uptight about what hotel to stay in. There is no wrong answer, really and truly. There is no wrong answer. This is not something to stress about. It's going to be okay. Whatever hotel you pick, even if you're off site, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's it's going to be great. Where You're going to have a day at, at Walt Disney World. Now, I assume you're going to be at the Magic Kingdom. That's just my assumption. With a two and a four-year-old, that's where I'd be. I'd be at the Magic Kingdom. So let's assume you're going to be at the Magic Kingdom. I will recommend, if money is no object, that you stay in the contemporary. Yes, I said the contemporary. You know, typically, I recommend the Polynesian. But for you, one day, Magic Kingdom, two and four-year-olds at the contemporary. Now, reasons, you have the monorail to get right back and forth. And it's just a short little trip back to the hotel. It's a long trip uh, around to get to the you got to go all the way around to get back to the magic kingdom but it's just a short trip over to uh from the magic kingdom back to the contemporary you can also walk yeah it's a little bit of a walk it's about a 15 minute walk people say it's just a short walk well it's, it's kind of a little bit more than a short walk but you can actually walk from the contemporary to the magic kingdom and back um so if money is no object, and it's a very expensive hotel, I will give you that. If money is no object for one night, I would go to the Contemporary. Other than that, pick any hotel. My other option would be to go to the Pop Century. Two and four year olds, colors, big things, I mean, big icons, big things to see, games. Uh, it's just a happening, fast moving, two and four year old kind of place. Um, I, I think that would be my number two recommendation. Um, just kind of relax. In fact, go get in touch with Shannon. Go get in touch with Destinations to Travel. Go over to our Destinations to Travel page. Fill out the form and let them help you. They can help you with the Universal part. They can help you with the Disney part. Just turn it over to them and let them do the hard work. You can sit back like Shannon said and just relax and just show up. Um, so it's not anything to be frazzled about. Relax. Don't worry about a thing. This, there is no wrong answer here. Uh, it's going to be fine. You're going to Disney World. Thanks so much for watching Dad's video. For more simple, fun, magic Walt Disney World information, go to Dad's Guide to WDW.com. You can do that by clicking the I button that's popping up on the screen right now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Dad's YouTube videos with Daditude.